Today is a Friday, February the 11th. And so the article had caught my attention and it had me uh, thinking, considering some stuff. So a flight diverted after passage, passenger allegedly, allegedly threatens to kill everyone. So a flight to Florida was forced to make an emergency landing. So this passenger, Frontier Flight 1335, that immediately caught my eyes because of the 13... 1,335 days in uh, the book of Daniel. So Frontier Flight 1335, the passenger, what did he do? He started uh, um, flipping out. He accused the woman in the seat behind him of sticking him with a needle to steal his uh, letter D, letter N, letter A. So this got me a uh, uh, considering. So Daniel chapter 12 verses 11 to 12. From the time that the daily sacrifice is abolished and the abomination that causes desolation is set up, there will be 1290 days. Blessed is the one who waits for and reaches the end of the 1335 days. So from Daniel, it mentions 1335 days and 1290 days. So flight 1335, this man... um started freaking out and saying the woman in the seat behind him was uh, sticking him with a, a needle and it was going to take his uh, letter D, letter N, letter A. What does this sound like? What does that sound like? Y'all y'all know what I'm referring to. So here's the... Uh, um, so when did the first person receive a, uh, a you-know-what... A f- the first person in a trial, Jennifer Howler, receives first you-know-what in first trial of you-know-what for the thing. March 16th, 2020. March 16th, 2020. This is the first person to receive a you-know-what. It was in a, a trial. This is the first trial for this uh, the thing. So this is literally the first trial for one of the you know what's the first of the first of the first the first person essentially it almost sounds like possibly even in the the world but definitely in the u.s so march 16th 2020 so what i'm wondering if this represented the start of the seven years the start of the seven years march 16th 2020 if we add 1290 days to march 16th 2020 we come out to september 27th 2023 that's if you add 1290 days it's if instead we add 1335 days we come out to november 11th 2023 that's if you add 1335 days so from daniel going from march uh, 16th 2020 forward 1290 days we come out to september 27th if we go forward 1335 days we come out to november 11th of 2023 so if we go to the uh, Jewish calendar for 2023, Yom Kippur, September 27th, that is two days after the end of Yom Kippur. And it is two days before the start of Sukkot in 2023. So this date of September 2020, 20, September 27th, 2023 is exactly between Yom Kippur and Sukkot, essentially, in the year 2023. And November 11th, what is significant about November 11th, 2023? That's the anniversary of the end of World War I, which ended on November 11th in the 11th hour. So the 11th hour on the 11th day of the 11th month in 1918, World War I ended. So the armistice was signed. And what else happened in that exact same year? February 1918, the Spanish letter F, letter L, letter U started in February of 1918. So there's the 11-11, November 11th connections. So here's what's really interesting. Daniel chapter 9, verse 27. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. And in the midst of the week, he shall cause sacrifice and oblation to cease. And for his overspreading of abomination, he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation. And that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. Daniel chapter 9, verse 27. And what did I say? When you go forward, March 16th, 2020, you go forward 1290 days. 
you come out to September 27th, 2023. And what is the scripture? Daniel, look, September 27th, Daniel chapter 9, verse 27. That's September 27th. That is very odd. So what I'm wondering is, could this, the first person to have received a you-know-what in a trial, could this have been the start of the seven years? Could that have been a a covenant with many? I mean, that is sounds like a, a with many. We're talking about a covenant with almost every single person on this earth because the majority of people have uh, taken the thing. So could that have been the covenant with many began? Could it have begun on March uh, 16th, uh, 2020 with the first person to receive a you-know-what in a trial? So this is what I'm wondering. Could that have been the start of the seven years? And then if we go forward 1290 days, you come out to the September 27th, 2023, which corresponds exactly to Daniel chapter 9, verse 27. So what I'm wondering is, could that have been the start of the, the seven years? Essentially, like I've discussed before, it would pave the way for the arrival, pave the way for the arrival of the Antichrist where he can fully manifest himself. So this is one possibility. If we already entered the seven years, we are we would be roughly entering the uh, two years into it if it started on March 16th, 2020. That means we're approaching the two-year mark, which means we're quickly approaching the midpoint. So one possibility is if we are already in the seven years, That would mean the rapture is imminent. It would most likely occur before the midpoint. And in that case, you would have the, uh, the, you know, in Israel, they would, you know, construct the, uh, the third temple. And then the Antichrist could, uh, you know, at the midpoint, you know, uh, stop the sacrifices and set himself up in there. So essentially it would be a dual fulfillment. You would have an abomination to start the seven years. And then uh, three and a half years later, you would have another abomination, but more from the Jewish standpoint. The church would most likely already be gone. The Jews would have constructed the temple. And then the Antichrist could uh, fully set up in that temple and claim to be God. But what I'm proposing is what if this, the thing um, being started represented the start of the seven years. The fir- a first abomination, and then the midpoint, three and a half years later, three and a half years later, you'll have the, the Antichrist setting himself up in the, the newly built temple in Jerusalem. If this is the case, that means the, the raptures would have to be very soon, very close. You would literally, it would be, have to be very soon, because after we leave, then they would build the, third, the temple in Jerusalem. And then, which would be ready for the Antichrist to set himself up in it um, sometime around September or November of 2023. So this is one possibility. I wanted to bring this up. Um, This is some stuff to consider as we're watching for the Lord's return. And we have to be open-minded. We can't be completely closed-minded on everything. A lot of people are too closed-minded. On, on stuff when in, in certain things we need to be open minded and I believe this is uh potentially significant because the man on flight thirteen thirty five he starts yelling about the the lady behind him has a a, a thing you know a, a has one of the you know what's and that she's gonna take his letter D letter N letter A and so that's what uh where I I felt led to look deeper into the thirteen thirty five days because of that. So I'll catch y'all later. God bless in the name of Jesus Christ.